Oh, what's that on your neck? It's from when I injected heroin, black tar heroin, mixed with all of the other drugs uh, across the world. And I smoked DMT through one nostril and meth through the other one. And I uh, inhaled all of the cigars in my mouth as well. And I also had chew and... I'm addicted to fucking chocolate now, I'm addicted to sugar, and uh, my abs are torn apart. But that means that I'm getting my six pack. Finally. At the age of 47, I'm finally gonna have a six pack. Get me the fucking testosterone replacement treatment. Get me the EPOs. Uh, all kinds of things, stem cells, put stem cells into all my body, put like uh, Elon Musk's neurochips into my brain, and then uh, the Elon Musk butt plug as well, so I can uh, constantly uh, vibrate it. I, like you, you push down on the different chips and then different parts of your body vibrate. And whenever something falls off, you just uh, go to one of his centers and they like put on a new, better one. Uh, and uh, it's all paid for by the uh, Fortune 500 companies. That's who I'm going to work for. I'm just going to write them a letter saying, you know who it is, it's Bladdercast. Uh I've made videos for years, you've seen them, you know my intellectual abilities, you know who I am. And uh, then I'll be part of their propaganda, telling you that uh, your life is only meant to serve them and to serve the shareholders until you yourself become a shareholder, which you will not do by working for them. By working for them, you're a battery, you're a slave. The only people who will become shareholders are the people who uh, have rich parents, and uh, most of them will have been born to Middle Eastern uh, oil people, oil princes. Uh, where is a better place for men to be born? In the West, where uh, we have to deal with all of this LGBT uh, plus and uh, white women crying about everything? And uh, BLM and all of these uh, new uh, issues that are popping up? Or is it be better to born into a uh, place where men are in charge and women are seen as objects? That's for you to decide. I don't have an opinion on the matter. And uh, by that I don't mean that I find either negative and both and uh, whatever deserves to be looked after deserves to be done and whatever is done is bad because if but only if it is currently seen as bad okay so so there you have it I've covered all my bases I can't be uh, no one can say that I am left or right wing or anything about me because no one even knows my political beliefs do you know why? because I don't have political beliefs I am so untouchable that if you thought about saying something negative towards me it instantly backfires towards you for even thinking about it. So thank you very much. I will be unjudged. You can judge me for that. Only. I will only be judged by uh, my own body. When I die, that's because I've done uh, the worst thing ever. And my body had disagreed with me and decided to kill me. But who am I? Am I my body? Or is my body not me? Is my mind and my body separate? Or are they the same thing? Is the mind a parasite to the body? 
Does the mind control the body or does the body control the mind? Morrissey doesn't know. But I do. Sorry, pal. I ain't telling you that. You're going to have to pay my Patreon. In the future, I probably will have a Patreon. But right now I don't because I don't have any internet. And I don't have any bank accounts or anything like that. I don't really fucking want a bank account. I don't really want any of this fucking bullshit to deal with in my fucking life. I just want to be happy and live life. Do I I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to be happy. Maybe being happy isn't the best way to live life. Because maybe you're just bored. I don't want to be bored. But I don't want to be suffering. Unless... I am remembered forever for it. And then I will be suffering. Fucking... I'm, I want to I wanna know what this is. What is this red? What is this pink dot on my body? Let's take a look at the chins. Oh, that's what all the women love. The women love men with chins. But what is that? Okay, I'm not going to show that anymore. That was... That's part of my body. Guess what? Guess what, people? It doesn't matter uh, how you look like if you have money. If you have money, that's the most attractive thing. And that cannot be disputed. Thank you very much. The only people that uh, are not attracted to you if you have money is other rich people. I'm going to hold my breath until I fucking die on camera. And I'm going to play uh, a new controversial song so that they get sued by my cheapskate family. My family would take me off of life support uh, quick. They would say, oh, we don't want to see him suffering, when he, even if I could outlive it. Like if I was in a coma and I could outlive it, they would take me off of uh, life support so quickly. And then they, uh, they would also send me to jail uh, very quickly if I committed any crimes, because they're fucking retards like that. And... Uh, They've already kicked me out of the house onto the streets for months. We're in the freezing cold, which sucked uh, the biggest dick ever. I won't say any races. It just sucked dick. And my tootsies and my footsies and my uh, mental health declined rapidly. My tootsies. <laughs> frozen. Couldn't feel them. It's, it's weird how that works. Uh, it's weird how, like, uh, when you spend a bunch of time outside, first you go freezing, and then your body, like, warms up, and then you start to shiver. And, like, my kidneys just started getting really warm, like, a couple of times. Even when, like, soaking wet. And that's how my last computer broke. I, ha I had that computer for, like, three months, and then my bag's not waterproof, so the nature has a. But I I I want to leave. I want to leave England. It's too fucking cold here. In the winter, it's too. It's like only hot. Maybe if you're lucky, uh, like three weeks of the year, four like a month, not even a month. Fuck that shit. I'm too close to the north. Get me to the equator. But not somewhere where, like, I have to take malaria pills. Because I've taken them before. And uh, you better gulp them down quick. Because if you keep them in your mouth for even a tiny bit, they taste like uh, someone's ass. And I've never tasted someone else's ass. I probably have tasted shit before. I think I have, like, in food. Like, if you've ever eaten, like, really bad food, then you gotta go to your, you got to go straight to the chef and say, Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, you knock like on, on the door. <laughs> you just walk uh, into the service place. No, you can't. Uh, excuse me, sir, you can't be here. No, 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 shut up. I'm, I want to see the chef. The chef comes to you and you say, You fucking proper cunt. And then you headbutt him and you, uh, you force feed him like uh, the food that he served you. 
or she or it. And uh, I was quoting someone else, so I don't have any opinions on genders either, so I will not be judged and I will not uh, be held accountable for anything that comes out of my mouth because I was quoting someone else. Prank call. Santa. If I was rich, I would just show people money. Say, do this for me right now. Dance. Dance. And then people will be happy to do it. Like if you, or maybe maybe someone afterwards would be angry. Like, I was forced by this rich man to dance in front of him. I didn't want to, but he had a lot of money. So I had to. <laughs> yeah. teeth, when are my teeth going to fall out? I'm going to get the buck tooth. Cletus, you got your buck, you got uh, all of your teeth pulled out, Cletus. What happened? I gambled. And when I couldn't gamble no more, I had to sell them all my teeth. I told them I didn't have the money, and they said, we're going to take your teeth as insurance. But they left on my bottom row. They took every second tooth. Now I look like a goddamn broken piano. Cletus, you know, you don't mess. You know, messed it up again. Ugh. Cletus later went to college. He got himself a steady job working as a temp in a Fortune 500 company. And, uh,. He accidentally dropped coffee on one of the owners and he uh, got, what was it, after uh, they shut everything down, he got murdered in the car park and uh, we're still looking for a culprit. And uh, the security footage was lost as well to that company. And the owner says that he doesn't know anything about it. Even though there are logs showing that he was uh, within that building of the day of the murder. And uh, those logs were hard to attain by a journalist. Who also got killed. <laughs> What's going to happen to Julian Assange? He, he like wrote shit, uh, wrote in shit on the Ecuadorian embassy. And uh, rightfully so, because they took away his internet, because they were uh, forced politically or whatever uh, by, like, uh, England and America and all this fucking shit. Julian Assange is a puppet. He's not even a real human being. They pull out these puppets. Oh, fucking, I can't even be bothered to go down some stupid conspiracy theory shit. I can make up conspiracy theories on a spot. That will turn any, uh, that will turn any borderline schizo, full schizo. Schizo powers. I don't need it. I'm doing exercise. Not every day. Like today, I'm not going to do a single fucking exercise. I'm just going to turn into an egg. I don't want to do any exercise today. I just want to record videos. And I want to... You know what I want to do. And I uh, want to fucking... have a better moustache. Get rid of all of this hair. I want to have a money. A load of money. Oh, I gotta talk quickly when I'm making these fucking videos or I'm gonna be boring as hell. Okay. I kinda wanna be alone. Away from all of humanity. But within like a, uh, a, within like a futuristic habitat, 
where you're where you're like walking around and it says, "Good morning, uh, good morning, Robert. What would you like to consume today, you fat fuck?" And I'll say, first of all, computer, don't call me fat fuck. My name is Robert, and it says, "Apologies, Mister." Apologies. Would you like to record a bladder cast? And I say, no, 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 no. Would you like me to like the video 20 million times so that you feel like your ego is satiated and massaged? And I say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you, how would you like to live today? In what setting? And I say, uh, Chef's choice, and he's, uh, he says, I have three choices for you. One, China, uh, Japan in the 15th century. Two, what's a place in Africa that's going to become like a, a first world country? South Africa. Will South Africa uh, get to that point eventually? Is South Africa a first world country? Because they have democracy, but it's a corrupt kind of. Kind of. Um, I, I barely even know places in Africa. Like, I know uh, Kenya, I know Tunisia, I know South Africa, I know uh, Republic of Congo, I know uh, Libya. Uh, I probably know a bunch of other ones, but my brain can't remember fucking names of shit unless I read it and then it just slips and f goes away because there's too many things to think about and remember. I'm only a single person. I can't remember everything in this fucking... that I shove through my ears and my eyes. Get me that chip. Elon. Hello. Quit at least two of your companies and focus on making that brain chip, please. Even though you're not making it, you're just the poster boy funding it and talking. And people are listening, so I guess you're doing one of the biggest jobs. Because it's hard to make people listen to things. <laughs> Fucking get me something. Give me something. This is where I got the uh, chip installed. I got one there, and uh, one there. The wires are going all the way around. It's going through my veins. Uh, there's muscle covering. It's going through. You got two. You got like four fucking veins. You got like four major. I don't know how many fucking veins you have. Who gives a shit? I should probably know the names of them, the trachea, no, the trachea, and then the fucking, uh, if I sat here for five minutes, I could remember every fucking one of them, but I can't uh, remember them off the top of the dome, off the top of my bell end. Would you like to see it? I promise it isn't. If it was. You know, if uh, I'd probably be a serial killer if I uh, had some sort of uh, damage done to my genitalia where I couldn't use them anymore, I would become a world-renowned serial killer. But luckily, that hasn't happened to me for uh, many people. I wouldn't uh, start serial killing in England because uh, the police here are uh, very... What would I say? Would I say they're tactical? They're good at stopping stuff like that. It's hard to get uh, certain guns and stuff. If you're going to be a serial killer, you have to go to somewhere where they have lax gun laws, so you can do the spree. And uh, you got to plan it, and all of that stupid shit. Can't be bothered. Look at me. I do exercise every day, and I'm still fat. What does that say? I'm Fyodor. See if I fall from. I put these fingers in my bum. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. And I wouldn't. 
on camera or alone in my home but that doesn't mean I wouldn't do it in public <sighs> oh, fucking can I get some uh, claps for me right now can you guys clap for me please everyone that's watching can you can you just stand up and clap cheer scream shout if you got a dick wave it around if you can if you got a pussy stuff your whole fucking fist into your pussy if you can right now please that doesn't matter where you are you're in a, a car going to the beach with your family doesn't matter you know who who, who even are your family Human beings are your family, and some human beings like that, and some human beings don't. These people don't like it, that you're around. You know, take, take a look left, take a look right, take a look in front of you. Maybe you're the one who's driving, take a look at the people behind you. Uh, do you really like those people? Do you really think that they're uh, what you should be wasting your life with? Yes? Okay, then what about no? Well, you know what to do then. You know what to do then. And that's exactly what you should do. I'm not going to tell you what you should do. I'm not being held accountable for anything. There's going to be some sort of a fucking law. <laughs> he said something 15 years ago. And that made me do it. <laughs> he said something that I heard when I was 17. And subconsciously I kept it. And when I was 40, I committed that uh, act. And it's his fault for putting it in my brain when he was 15. And then I have to uh, go to court like uh, a million times. I, they have to make clones of me so I can go in all of the courts around the world. That's what would happen if I was rich. We can't get him for anything. We can't get him on our side. I know he used to make these videos called the bladder cast back in the day. Let's find a little thing that he said. <laughs> when they get mad at me, I can get away with saying the N-word because I'm uh, the best human being ever. I can get away with it. I've sung songs with the N-word. I've read quotes and books with the N-word. <sighs> the N-word is a word. I think in the future we won't care about it as much as we do now. It's... Uh, but not not in terms of it should not be cared about. It's a negative word used uh, for hatred. But then again, so is idiot or dumb or stupid. And like, uh, human beings are very, very, very dumb. And that's it. Human beings are very, very, very dumb. Human, you dumb. You smell like mum. You put food in your tum. You shit on ground. Poison world. Now you are gone. That's my little poem for future humans. <laughs> money, money. Not so funny. Have none. And your nose is runny. Have loads. And uh, you can do loads of cummy into a woman who steal your money. Money, money. Burn in hell is what you'll do when you sell. Buy forever. Never question. Time goes on. What's the lesson? The lesson is to fight people. Street beefs. Get me on the street beefs. Time to go to America. I'm going to let uh, my instructor beat me up. I'm going to go to America do street beefs. And my instructor is going to beat me up for 15 minutes. So we can get the good compilation. And at the end that uh, uh, guy. The guy who runs it. Is going to say like a good fight guys. And then he's going to say that I'm really tough. 
but I don't want to be really tough, I want to win. And then after that I'm going to go on a little journey across the world. I'm going to try and find uh, the origins of humanity. I'm going to find the fossils from all different parts. The fossils from the first humans of Africa, the first humans of uh, the Asian Peninsula, the first humans of the European Peninsula, and the first uh, humans of the Americans. And I'm going to mix, liquefy all of the fossils from the first human beings then I'm going to inject it into me and I'm going to become your god. So thank you for that. I've been working on those jokes. I made people laugh when I talk. But uh, English people, we laugh and then we, we all become very introverted afterwards. No one praised me. I only got praised by like a, a couple of uh, people, like one one person... Like, I get praised sometimes by some human beings. And i got to watch out, because when you get praised by people, it's usually because they want something from you. But there can be people who just praise you because they like you, and that's the kind of stuff that I want. I want to be praised as the superior human being that I am. And I want my ego to be misogynist. Uh, <laughs> until... Uh, well, what's, what's, what's the thing, wait, until, uh, can't in, nah, ejaculate, fucking, until happiness. What am I going to do when I'm old? I tore my fucking left hamstring, not really, like, completely, but like, uh, uh I need to stretch it all the time now, because it, it hurts to bend down, and it hurts to kick, and it hurts to, like, stretch it out. And then my right knee is getting fucked. That's what's going to tear first. Like everyone's fucking ACLs are blowing out whenever anyone does MMA for years. It's on the back and it keeps on like cracking. My knees are cracking. I'm going to have to start taping them up. Like uh, the famous uh, fighter. The Mario Luigi boy. Wario. Sakuraba. And I'm going to need to get rid of some uh, body fat. Even though, you know, body fat's good for... Uh, like, I get freezing cold when I don't eat food. I get freezing fucking cold. I feel like I'm going to fucking die. It's because I, I use all my uh, white blood cells throughout my uh, life. All of the cuts and... Shit that I've broken and damaged and fucking all that shit. My organs are going to start shutting down. <sighs> You'll see when I knock a motherfucker out. You'll see. I'm going to get knocked out too. I don't even care. You know, like, uh, people who really say we don't, and I genuinely don't care, like, but I, uh, no, I, I wanna, I wanna give a good fight, I don't wanna just be like, uh, uh, a quitter or whatever, I don't wanna quit, but I don't care about getting knocked out, it's just something, it's cool, <laughs> I'm going on a trip of my favorite, uh, dream, it's time to dream, I've been up people, legally. I don't get people who, like, uh, want to try and fuck you for no reason. They're psychopaths. Suing. That's why the human race is so fucked in these ages, is because we have all these laws and rules about everyone can sue anyone. That's why we're so stunted in this fucking day and age. That's why nothing can fucking happen. Then again, no, I mean, you know, fuck society right now is boring as fuck. It's stupid. <sighs> Give me everything that I want. And I'm fat as fuck. And I don't even really eat a lot. I just eat fucking junk food. I'm not even that fat. But I'm way fatter than, like, a human being of the past. Like, my ancestors would have been... 
<laughs> when trying to get as fat as I am now, I don't even have to try. I can just eat like fucking two things a day and get really fat. You see all of the servings and shit. They put saturated shit in everything and sugar and processed shit in everything now. <sighs> so fucked. Corona shit. I'm supposed to get a fucking job when no one wants to let you get a fucking job now. Plus the Corona shit. I watched a new Sam Hyde fucking sketch with uh, his pal. I forget his fucking name, but he's a funny fucking guy as well. When he get when he uh, the, the winery. He fucking pulls the uh, branch back and it uh, form branch and it slaps across the fucking chest. He joined that forehead. Rip out your mouth. Steal my mother's shit. Give me back my grandmother's shit. That's funny. It's good you hit my wife or, or don't hit my wife or something. And then the big free podcast is still going on. Simply done the podcast. I always enjoy watching that shit. Uh, Perry, Perry the Screaming uh, Caramello, fucking Barry Sparabello, the Italian 57 year old child or whatever the fuck, he's very funny, I don't know like uh, what percentage of him is actually trying to be that, I don't know if it's like 75%, uh, he's just a retard, and 25% he plays uh, the fucking character, I don't know, but uh, whatever it is, it's very, very funny to watch him scream like a fucking retard about shit, it's, uh, it's some of the funniest shit, Don Barry, some, uh, Tony Barbieri, I mean, uh, I don't know who that is, but Maul, uh, they're very, very funny together. And uh, I, if I could say something to Perry, I'd say, uh, Perry? No, 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 okay, here we go. What would I say to this fucking guy? Ah, you got me on a spot. I don't even know what I'd say. Okay, come on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be smart right now. I gotta. I'm tired because I've been doing fucking exercise all week. I'm a tired man right now. I just want to lie down and watch some drama and uh, stuff like that. Drama and only plays and uh, nerds. I'm not a nerd. What would I say to Perry Caramello? I'd uh, fucking, you need to know the story, I could, I, I don't want to make myself uh, look like a retard, if you want to know about Perry and about all these, uh, these comedians, uh, check out the podcast on the iTunes uh, podcast section, uh, simply don the podcast, and you'll know all about this fucking guy, he's very, very, very funny, I say, Perry, you gotta get back on that skateboard. That's where you've been screwing up. You've been crying about the coronavirus. You've been crying about uh, people talking about your weight and uh, all of this uh, rubbish. Get a handful of popcorn and you gotta spread it across the world. You gotta spread your popcorn across the world. He's gotta make his own popcorn uh, website that sells his popcorn, and he's got to uh, get back on his skateboard. That's all i got to say uh, to the guy. I'm going to say, you want to lose weight? That's the only way. You can't be having some uh, retarded uh, brands of uh, juices that you're buying online, uh, powders, get back on your skateboard. And, uh, it's, uh, 
your your religion, Jehovah's Witness. He allowed uh, Don and Maul into his house. And I can't believe, I can't believe him when he's angry with them using his things. That's um, that's unbecoming of a Jehovah's Witness. Does a Jehovah's Witness not want to look after his best friends and care about them? I can't believe it. Okay, so that's all I've got to say about fucking Perry. He's, he's disappointed me, and he's disappointed all of the fans, and we really need him to step up his game. He doesn't have long left. Well, he's still in his prime. He needs to step up his game. That's all I've got to say. And he is a sexy man. I say that. <laughs> Body, be, be body positive. Doesn't matter what you look like. You gotta get back on that skateboard. Let everyone know. Popcorn makers of the world unite and take over. Go Perry, go. Anyone who doesn't know who that guy is will not, not understand what I'm saying. And uh, I'm ashamed of you people who don't like comedy. If you like comedy, then you should uh, know about Don Barris and the Simply Don podcast. That's all I've got to say. And the Big Free podcast as well. Some of the best comedy that I've ever seen. That I've ever heard. I've been crying laughing. Very, very funny. I listen to tons of podcasts. They make uh, my life better. They uh, they are very entertaining. It's way better than... I think it's better than reading. I enjoy listening to podcasts more than I do reading or audiobooks. I don't really like looking at a page. And, uh, I, you can, I can imagine shit from listening. I don't only need to read. I read a bunch, but I don't need to... I can read pieces of paper. When I could be watching videos. Oh, Britannia. Britannia smokes all of your weed. Send all of your weed to England. Everyone across the world, you know, you're donating to everything. You're donating one dollar here, you're donating one dollar there to the super mega uh, stuff, you're donating to uh, the dick show, you're donating to uh, cancer research and uh, helping people across the world, all kinds of charities and things like that. Stop. Everyone just stop, okay? I got your attention. Good? Send your money to me. Sim simply done like that. One P from everyone in the world. That's all I need. Everyone in the world. Okay. Stop again. I'm sorry, guys. Let's half that because I'm just I'm just good. You know, some people they're tired. They can't be bothered. They have to work. They have a family. Okay. But half of everyone in the world has to give me one P, and that's the law now. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna use my <laughs> I'm gonna use my schizophrenia to send that out to everyone. There you go. Everyone's got it now. Oh shit. I don't wish I had a mental disorder. I really don't. I'm happy the way that I am right now. Uh, okay, maybe maybe take away like uh, any muscle pains uh, for the rest of my life. But then again, you know, I, I but then I might like tear my muscles apart if I don't have muscle pain. So maybe you know, it's a good human thing to have. Boy, my body. I'm wearing the full grey again. 
the prison suit. But I, I've got two different socks, and I've got a hole in my socks. Because I keep on... <laughs> no! Okay, I'm out of here. I don't use my socks. Uh, I come wherever I want. On the walls, on the floor, uh, in my own... Uh, my own ass, in your dad's ass, in your mum's pussy, in uh, everyone who's legal and doesn't have a disease. I just throw it. I, uh, I give it to people. I, I bake it into foods. I uh, wipe down people's cars with it. Like, you know, a spray that I use on the side of the road. I like dilute it with some water and then and wipe their car. And they're like, has he been using heavy water? No, 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 no. It's um, come. And uh, now I have to pay uh, a lot of my money to her, um, my 10,000 children. It's airborne. I've designed an airborne uh, dispersal system to disperse my sperm into all women lockers. And uh, everyone's getting phantom pregnancies. They think that it's God. It is. You're welcome. Come on, Elon, get my uh, get me my neural chip so I can uh, progress into the next dimension and join Alex Jones's brain. 